I'm Jumping Jack. It's a new year and it's time for a new you. Use this program to count your jumping jacks like a pro. The game is set up to count your jumps and you win if you can make it to 50. Make sure you jump high enough and at the right cadence because if you miss a jump, you will lose. Grab your robot, put it in your front pocket and start the program. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. That's harder than I remembered. Good thing I'm Jumping Jack. All right, Binary Bill, tell us how this program works. I think we picked the right guy for the job. This program is pretty interesting because we use a Boolean variable to track both the outward jump and the inward return of the jumping jack. And this makes it so we count the entire jumping jack only once, because if we did just a simple and singular accelerometer condition, we might get a conflicting gesture counting it twice. The whole program is set up as a game loop so that you have to complete jumping jacks about every second or else the timer expires and you lose the game. We program this using the timer variable and notice at the top of the program, we actually set the timer to time elapsed a few times. That makes it so that when the instructions are read aloud, we don't accidentally expire the game. If you scroll down to the main part of the program, notice that there is an if then else condition with two accelerometer conditions baked in. This is all governed by a Boolean variable called going up where the default condition is false, and then when you jump, it becomes true. We also increment the jump variable by one each time you complete a jump, and we increment the timer variable when you're not jumping so that the game ends if you don't keep up. If you take a closer look at the count function, there's some interesting logic in here that helps read out the number of jumps in a unique way. We wanted to make it to the length of time to speak the jumps number is as short as possible. So we made it so that numbers one through 20 30, 40, and 50 are all read as normal numbers. But then anything that's between 21 and 29, 31 and 39, and 41 and 49 are all read as just single digit numbers. So we have an else condition in the count function that does modulus 10 on the jumps variable value. The last part of the program evaluates both the loss and win conditions. For the loss, we just check to see if time elapsed minus the timer variable is greater than or equal to two. And for the win condition, we check to see if you've reached 50 jumps or not. Now, if you don't break a sweat while doing this program, you're doing something wrong. Back to you, Jumpin' Jack. Hey, thanks, Binary Bill. You can find more programs like this in the app. That's so bad. <laughs> hey, thanks, Binary Bill. You can check out all of the Thursday Learn Day programs in the app. I'm pretty sore. <laughs>